And good morning from Albuquerque. Now you can see the mountains. We're starting our day at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center Museum. There's a restaurant and local artists. Very excited to visit and see everything. Toward the museum, we did some shopping, got some pieces from the local artists, and now we're having lunch at the Indian Pueblo Kitchen. I think I'm gonna get the Tewa taco because I just love fried bread tacos and it would not be a trip to New Mexico without one. Mike's looking at possibly this or this. There's my Tewa taco, a fried bread taco. And then Mike got the French toast with the Pueblo bread. Some turkey sausage, it looks awesome. Mm. Yum. Well, we had a wonderful morning strolling around the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center here in Albuquerque. I didn't film much inside because out of respect with museums, I'd rather you come see it for yourself and not show it all in the vlog because you should absolutely come. It's $10 per person for an adult to go in. The exhibits are fantastic. They're are Native American artists there selling their artwork, their pots, their jewelry, there were dream catchers, just really beautiful pieces of beaded art. And oh, where were you going? Oh, <laughs> off roading. <laughs> so beautiful art, great history, and then the Indian Pueblo kitchen, which is where we had lunch. So you get a nice fusion of Indian, I would say American influence meals just absolutely delicious and the store's closed okay <laughs> due to system failure the store is closed so it was a nice way to end our time in albuquerque we did consider going to the petroglyph national monument which i had been to before when i was in high school i really enjoyed it we just ran out of time on this trip because now we need to start making the drive back to florida now we start just driving back home so we're in albuquerque new mexico right now we'll see how far we get today we're getting a later start than we expected because we enjoyed a delicious lunch at Atlanta. the Pueblo Center. What? I'm saying Atlanta. Oh <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. We were aiming for Arkansas. I have a feeling we're gonna stop in Oklahoma. Atlanta. We'll, we'll see. I call it Atlanta. You call it. Let it be known. Unless you stop me, we're getting to Atlanta. Huh? So I'm gonna stop them. Anyway, so we are gonna go through Oklahoma today. We're gonna go back through Texas. We'll go through New Mexico, oh, geez, hello. part of Texas. And then uh, we're gonna go through Oklahoma. It's gonna be my first time ever going through Oklahoma. So I'll cross another state off my list. And we're going pretty much straight across the whole state. So <laughs> gonna see a lot of it. And then we'll see where we stop tonight. Probably Arkansas, so. Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta. Let's start the last leg of our adventure. Central time zone. We lost another hour. Oh no. We're back in Texas. We couldn't escape. We're back. Such disdain. If it popped up, it didn't say anything. Yeah. I think it popped up, but I don't think it said anything this time. Oh well. Did not want to welcome us to Texas. We're back in Texas. Bug Ranch, Car Hinge. <laughs> Some old Route 66 leftovers. We passed the other Car Hinge in Amarillo. But we're stopping for some gas just outside Amarillo. All right, crossing into one of the states I've never been to. Welcome to Oklahoma, what a pretty sign. Welcome to Oklahoma. Haha, -ha, got it this time. I'm not sure if that's better or worse, but... There's Oklahoma. 
Oklahoma City. During a pretty sunset. Nice lighting for it. anything but there it is <laughs> good morning everyone from our very buggy windshields we're gonna clean it off when we stop for gas here in a little bit but we are driving through Arkansas we're almost to Little Rock we're, we're always the exit from Little Rock and I don't think we're actually driving into Little Rock but going through Arkansas our goal today is South Georgia because there is a tropical storm sitting, oh, there's Little Rock. I just saw it, off to the right. There it is over there. So there is a tropical storm that is sitting over Louisiana right now and it's gonna go across Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia over the next few days. And so we are going to try to get to southern Georgia so that it won't affect us tomorrow. So that is our plan for aiming for south Georgia today and then home tomorrow. George, what is that? It is church. Oh, okay. First Pentecostal church. That's uh, Pentecostal, okay. Wow. That's fancy. First Presbyterian or Pentecostal. Yeah. Okay. Very fancy. Look at all the wildflowers though. So many wildflowers. Old school Pizza Hut is still open. It's a miracle. Well, we have a clean windshield. Ish. Ish. <laughs> and we are heading into Memphis, Tennessee. Across the river here. We're having to use 55 because the bridge on 40 is actually closed. Construction, I assume. So we're crossing from West Memphis, West Memphis, Arkansas, that is, into Memphis, Tennessee, across the bridge. Get the river down there. It's the bridge I'm used to taking in. I sound like I do this all the time. I've been to Memphis once. <laughs> Welcome to Tennessee. We're back in Tennessee. Elvis. This is his town. We'll end up on Trump yep. <laughs> uh, there's the Tennessee sign. Tennessee welcomes you. Thanks for the welcome back. We're already in Mississippi. I wasn't ready. I didn't know it was going to be that fast. Did I miss the sign? There you go. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I didn't see it. I was also kind of looking at my left. We're gonna do 16 states total. We got one more, one more new state to go. I mean, not new. We've both been through it, but new for this trip. I guess I missed the sign. That moment when you're about to start driving into tropical storm weather. Well, not really, not this far up, but we're getting tropical storm clouds. Because there's a tropical storm down the southern part of Mississippi, which we're in right now, and Louisiana, we're definitely starting to hit the beginning of it. We're crossing into Alabama. But they got Sweet Home Alabama on it. Welcome to Alabama. Driving into Birmingham, Alabama. We're getting a little bit of a break from the rain. But uh, yep, yeah, that's Birmingham. So we changed our route a little bit. We were gonna go south through Alabama and stay at a little town in South Georgia, avoiding Atlanta, but that's where the storm went. 
So now we're going to Atlanta after all. So it doesn't add too much time. It's like an extra half hour. Um, we'll just go to a different South Georgia town. So that's where we're headed. Bless. We found a Bucky's. for a quick pit stop at Bucky's, just outside Birmingham. <sighs> just a few gas bumps as usual, you know. Just a few over there. <laughs> this is a typical Saturday out of Bucky's. Oh my. How awesome and 90s is this? I wouldn't wear it, but I'm tempted. Georgia. Welcome to Georgia. We're back. We're back in Georgia. Oh, it's behind the trees, but it's six flags over Georgia. There it is. I've been on that. That's the standing coaster that's really uncomfortable. Don't do it. Very long day with a lot of rain, but we made it to Tifton, Georgia. So we're about four hours from home. The tropical storm is working its way through, but we are in a Spring Hill Suites for our final night. We go home tomorrow. It's basically the same room that we had in Missouri, but this time... The White Castle? <laughs> no White Castle, correct, and you can see the flag. It's pretty breezy because there's that tropical storm moving through, which I think it's a tropical depression now, but still. So, time to go to bed. Well, good morning. We were deep in conversation and we just drove right past the Florida sign. So, <laughs> we're back in Florida, but I missed it. We were too busy talking and enjoying our red owl coffee that we stopped for again. So, back in Florida. For me. Look, there's the other one. There's the leaving Florida sign. There you go, close enough, right? Right? So, we're home. We drove home this morning. It was still raining a bit on the drive home, but we made it home. We had lunch with my parents. It's Father's Day, so we had some gifts for Father's Day. We had some gifts for my mom for watching the dogs for the whole time. Foster's very content right now. I'll give you a little tour of the dogs and their moods with us returning home after two weeks. As you can tell, Foster is thrilled. <laughs> Hi, Bean. We're home. That's great, Mom. Fantastic. Ash is thirsty, enjoying some beverages. And here comes my sulky boy. Hi. You mad at me? Did I leave you for two weeks? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you going to be okay? Are you mad at me? Yeah. You mad at me? <sighs> and Colby's going to sulk for a few days to make sure I know that he was upset. But we're home, and so I thought I would go ahead and show you our souvenirs from the trip. Obviously, we collected all the brochures from all the places we went, so we have all of those. And then, as you guys know from my magnet board, we normally get magnets, so I got one at the Royal Gorge. We got one from the Twin Lakes store for Independence Pass, because we stopped there. We've got the Petrified Forest. Two different ones from Arches, just because I loved both of these. I love the Three Gossips, and of course, Delicate Arch. A Canyonlands magnet, a Grand Canyon magnet. We got two from Pikes Peak, because we just loved both of these. We got a sticker from the coffee place in Georgia. An ornament for Twin Lakes. The house we rented had the hummingbird stickers in the window, so we thought that was fitting. I also collected a few rocks from places where we were. So these two, Mike picked this one and I picked this one, uh, rocks from the spot where we got married. So we can remember that. 
I actually took this rock out of the lake at Twin Lakes. So that one's from the lake at Twin Lakes. And then this one is from Willis Gulch that we stopped at with Brittany and Jordan on the way back from Aspen. So those are my rocks. And then we actually brought home the giant rock that uh, Brittany made for us for the wedding day. So that came all the way home with us. I'll get the t-shirts in a second. And then at the Pueblo Cultural Center, they had Pueblo artists out there. So I got this magnet from one of the artists. So there's the artist's information. And then I got a spoon rest. There's the information. So she said this is actually a snowflake pattern. And then I got this little pot. Oh, kiss on the pot with the hummingbird. The neat part about the Pueblo Center is you actually get to meet the artist and talk to them. So she was able to tell me what all this symbolizes and she kind of gave me a cheat sheet of information as well. So that was the Indian Pueblo Center plus the jewelry I'm wearing. So I got these earrings and my little sun god charm from the Pueblo Center. We got a piece of petrified wood from the petrified forest bought this i should say don't take the petrified wood it's bad luck and wrong to do but you can buy it from the gift store so this is the piece we bought i liked it because it still had some of the bark on top and i love the color so that's going to go in our bookcase meteor crater didn't have a magnet we liked so we went for this ornament instead because it had the cacti and the copepelli and it said meteor crater on it so we went for that instead of a magnet because the magnets just weren't that great and then i got a few shirts because i can't resist buying shirts so First up, I love that this was a combo for Arches and Canyonlands because we went to both on the same day. And it's a yin and yang with balanced rock and a bighorn sheep. Just really neat. So got that one. And obviously we got married at Twin Lakes. So I got this one. I like that it had the arm detail. And then the back has the Colorado state symbol plus all the 14ers. I also got a Mount Elbert specific shirt because that's the mountain that's gonna be in the background of most of our wedding pictures is Mount Elbert. And then at the Meteor Crater, I had to get this shirt. And there's the back of it. I mean, it's got cacti and an alien and the crater. I had to get it. Those are all of our souvenirs from the trip plus all the pictures, obviously. So that is what we brought home from our two week trip out west so we are home from the trip that last bit of the drive was brutal thanks to tropical storm claudette so thanks for that claudette colby only gave me the cold shoulder for one day this time but the point of this is i wanted to put a little end cap to the trip that it was fantastic i don't know how the vlogs are going to turn out because i just vlogged our experience i wasn't trying to be a host and kind of give a tour like I have on some of my other travel vlogs. This one was really just for us and recording our memories to save and obviously I wanted to take you guys along for the adventure and show you what I could but I also wanted to keep it special and be in the moment with my friends, with my brother-in-law, and with Mike and just enjoy every moment and we did. We had such a fantastic trip. Cannot wait to plan another trip we were so due for a vacation after everything that happened in 2020. It felt fantastic to be traveling again and seeing new places and enjoying some great quality time together. So that's going to be the end of this series. But with this ending, that means that Horror Nights is like right around the corner. So stay tuned because Fridays and maybe even more days of the week, I don't know, it depends on how many times I'm going, but this channel is about to get taken over by haunt season. So prepare yourselves for that and then hopefully coming 2022, more travels outside of Florida. So I will see you guys again next week. Bye. <laughs>